shout out to sponsor the Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good Fellow One Boxing, 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. What's going on? Once again, we back. Good Fellow Sports TV. I appreciate everybody for checking in. And Nick Cannon pretty much tears into Travis Scott and calls him a raccoon. Uh, if you catch the cold word, man, but we back. It's your boy, CJ Goodfellow, with another video. Make sure you check out our sponsor, The Hill Blaze, at TheHillBlaze.com. And they got all natural products from lotion, soaps, foot soaks, deodorant, bath bomb, all the way down to nat uh, all natural toothpaste. Check them out, all my organic, holistic people. Go over to The Hill Blaze, at TheHillBlaze.com. Use my promo code, Goodfellow, one box to get 18% off. Immediately, no matter the, pro the price, uh, the discount, the promo, or the price slash, you still get that 18% off. All the information is in the description, website, and promo code. But pretty much, let's talk about what Nick Cannon said. The actual uh, interview debuts tonight were uh, Rack, Rack Rants on um, BET 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, he says that Nick Cannon, Travis Scott, isn't for the culture, and Kelly Jenner doesn't help. So he got beef with Travis Scott performing at the Super Bowl because the dude hasn't proven he truly cares about the black culture. And Kylie Jenner is one big example. Um, you know, he was cracking, uh, he was chopping it up with Raquel Harper for the new episode of BT Rack Rants, where he explains why he's troubled that Travis Scott was booked to play uh, the Super Bowl halftime. On the other hand, Outcast Big Boy getting the gig doesn't bother him. He says, a uh, Nick who supports Calvin Kaepernick says that uh, Big Boy has proven over the course of his career that he had he's for the culture. So Nick is good with him appearing uh, in his. Uh, Native Atlanta to balance Maroon Five, but according to Nick, Travis Scott hasn't passed those uh, the litmus test yet, litmus test yet, and um, check out you know his you know the, an interview, but basically I gave a sneak pre uh, preview, say he doesn't seem to be for black people and black causes and uh, what he needs to do to get there. Spoiler says knocking up Connie Kylie Jenner doesn't really help his cause, and like I said, man, I'm not gonna you know you know say you know. Mess with a Kar uh, Kardashian girl or whatever Jenner girl. I'm not gonna speak on that real pretty much situation. Go in on that. That's his flavor. That's what he like. At the end of the day, this dude's just a weirdo, bro. Like I'm just looking at his music. Look the way he walk. Not the way he walk. Just the way he handle himself. You know, he's a weirdo. I don't fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? He's just a weird dude, I man. I didn't even know he was from Houston. You know what I'm saying? But he a weird dude. I don't like his music at all. But you know, when he chose to do Super Bowl and Jay Z chopped it up with him and. Um, you know, basically he just took the money and just said F it and F the culture. That's just what it is, bro. You know, that's, I mean, that's how I look at him. You know, Gladys Knight, you know, I don't expect, uh, Nick Cannon to rip Gladys Knight, Lil John, or, you know, somebody that's his elder, somebody else that's performing, Jermaine Dupree. You know, it's, we all know that they need the money. You know what I'm saying? They need the money. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly what it is. Nothing more, nothing less. So at the end of the day, I'm not, I'm not, we already know what Gladys, Gladys Knight on, man. You know, she want to rip cat, want to be cool out. It don't really surprise me. But Travis Scott been a raccoon, bro. Travis Scott back in Mike Brown made some comments, some interview that uh, popped back up about, like, basically how Mike Brown deserved what he got, it came with him and, you know, why people, you know, shouldn't be doing the crime. He right. You don't got to do the crime. You do the crime. Sometimes it has consequences, but it's not pretty much the gist of it. Maybe he just went over his head or maybe he just don't care. You know, what the real issue with Mike Brown was that that we don't get a fair shot. We've seen, you know, uh, white people unload on, 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 on white cops and punch them and shoot at them. They still walk away and be good. We've seen a kid go in there and kill or a teenager, a white guy, go in there and kill the whole church of black people down in Charleston, North Carolina, South Carolina. And he got took the Burger King. We talking about the inequality. You know what I'm saying? You know, just are just they are just doing court, you know, our day in court. At the end of the day, he's a weird dude, bro. You know, and Jay-Z reached out to him. I'm not saying at least he made his own decision. He riding with it, you know what I'm saying? But Nick Cannon riding. I love Nick Cannon, you know, going out there and being for the uh, being for the people, bro. He got a high position. He easily can shut the hell up and just, you know, keep getting his money and ride and ride his position uh, of power and just be an uppity Negro. You know what I'm saying? He easily could go up there and just, you know, be a hustable and not come back down and, and, and do shit for the black culture. But he do it, man. He put his neck out there for Kev. And now he going at Travis Scott. He need to be. The dude's a weirdo. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how people like his music, man, as a black culture. Dude is a weirdo. But at the same time, you know, you know, I'm glad Nick did it. I look forward to seeing the full interview tonight. I barely even watched the TV, but I watched that tonight. But like I said, once again, he just got a sketchy issue. He hasn't done nothing for the culture. What has he done? He don't sound like rap. He sound like pop. You know what I'm saying? He ain't for the culture. He's one of them, 
you know, them weirdos, man. You know, got the whole person on the picture. He always mind blended up by the Jenners and the Kardashian, whatever the hell they is. You know what I'm saying? And the majority of dudes that get with them, you know, just, you know, certain type of dudes I don't mess with, man. I don't understand why people keep going to that well. And that's celebrities. They keep recycling women, man. That's all celebrities do. That's what made me believe in, like, shit, the Illuminati and some of those rituals that they go through, man. Because all they do is recycle the same women and they all start acting weird. I don't remember where Travis Scott first came out. I just know he did a lot of work on the Yeezus album. And that was the trashiest Kanye album I ever heard in my life. It was trash. He's a weird dude. Don't listen to his albums. Hate that when he got verses on, on guys' songs I actually like. But at the end of the day, it's proven that he's a coon, man. I can't say it no other way, man. It's proven that he's a raccoon. It's proven. And Nick Cannon just calling. What you going to do for the black car? What have you done? When have you stepped up and did anything for the, and nothing? He don't care. He don't care until he get in, the, in, a, in a position of weakness and he get in trouble where the police go upside his head at a show where they plant drugs. Then he's going to be asked for black community help. That's how it always go. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know, people say, well, you know, y'all mad at Trevor Scott for performing. Why y'all mad at them for, for playing? For one, that's how they eat. For people saying that, why you mad at the players, you know, for playing? Hey, that's how they eat. That's just how they eat. Travis Scott eat off. He don't have to eat off the Super Bowl. I'm not mad that he doing the Super Bowl, but at the end of the day, it is what it is, man. You know, you can't really explain the difference, man. Like when you go to work, you know, it's a lot of y'all people that work for racist companies. You know what I'm saying? So you go to work, you're not gonna go to work because the company racist, nah. But when you have an option to, and your people want you to bind together, and we want to make a uh, make make a stand where you know what we not. We're not doing it, bro. Y'all not y'all can't buy us. You know what I'm saying? And you always gonna have a Negro custom gun line. And Gladys Knight don't surprise me neither, man. All them old people that f their money up. She ain't probably got no man around or nothing like that. So she need the money. Okay. Same deal they got Eric Reed. They try to get Eric Reed in the coalition with man. But hey, it is what it is, man. I look forward to that interview. Um, glad that Nick Cannon ripped it to Travis Scott. He's a weirdo. This nigga got makeup on in this picture, bro. Come on. These these the niggas you listen to, bro. Come on, man. Get it together, man. Get it together. Young young Kings, man. Get it together. But good for the Sports TV. Don't forget, we on Facebook, Twitter. Also, reach out to me in the email. We got a Facebook group as well. You can DM me on social media. If you got a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, or you just got a video request, you want to chop it up. Um, in addition to that, man, check out the Patreon. Also, that link's in the description. Real low prices for raw and uncensored content. I'll probably be uh, adding on today. I'm trying to add some more on. But in addition to that, um, in addition to that, go over there to Help Legs and check out the Help Legs at thehelplegs.com. Use the promo code Goodfellow one box get eighteen percent off. All that information is in the description, and you get pretty much good prices on all natural products. Uh, also, we'll make a donation to the channel. That link's in the description as well. Do me one better. Just share, share the videos, cop something from the Help Blaze. Y'all know what the business is. Goodfellow Sports TV. We gone.